Twitter. Let's jump into this really quick. High street fingerboards. This is a prototype, first one made. It's gonna be my rail because I need a new one. This is my old one, and uh, it's falling apart. So yeah, I need a new one bad. So I went to my home nearest Home Depot, picked up some material, and uh, I'm gonna make it. I used a hollow metal plate instead of this because oh by the way look at how crooked my old one is wait hold on right there it's bad it's crooked <laughs> I mean I skated it for a fingerboard on it for a long time but I thought about time for a new one and since I'm making the fingerboard company might as well do a prototype this is what I'm gonna be selling I'm gonna be this is just like a rough draft, let's put it that way. It's gonna be a, a little bit different. Like, I'm gonna clean it up. As you can see, the cut is not straight. I want it to be straight down. It's like a little slant. This is like a store cut, so that, that that one's fine. I'm gonna file them down. This, these aren't, so these are kind of jagged. I'm not gonna be using metal for the base. I'm gonna be using like wood or something. But they're three inches, three inches high. Seven inches long. The base is two inches wide, and uh, I like it. It's, a, it's actually I love it. Like it's nice and smooth, buttery, you know. So um, yeah, these are what I'm gonna be selling. They're just gonna be a little better and a little different. All the cuts are really crooked. On like, if you can see that, this is really not straight at all. So I gotta work on that. <coughs> oh, excuse me. And um, these are gonna be the um, concrete obstacles that I'm gonna be making. Non sliders, by the way. When I sell them, they're gonna have non sliders on them. Um, this is pretty cool. It doesn't really wobble. It's the only reason it wobbles is because of the non-sliders on. If it was all the way around, it wouldn't wobble. But um, when you do a trick on it, though, they're really small. This is uh about four inches by four inches square. The manny's on it, but you get it. You get what I'm trying to say, and uh. I, like to, I only wax one side because I only use it on one side, but it kind of is tilted a little bit, so I like to use it like this. Maybe. So yeah, that's another one. This is, well, I just had the square concrete part for a long time. And I'd use it to prop stuff up, but I just added this underneath. I'm like, holy shit, this is pretty cool. So it has my old company logo, which was Tempted to Skate, but that's pretty stupid. And it has my tag on it. My, my own, not for fingerboarding, it's like a tag. Graffiti uh, tag. And um, so yeah, it's going to be these and the rails. Uh, there's going to be a lot of other stuff. But I'm not going to do the company until probably like April. I'm going to be bringing a lot of stuff to rendezvous. So, uh, comment what you think. If you think I should change anything, I might try some new stuff. So if you think I should do something, just feel free to comment. I love to hear you guys' ideas because you're the consumer. Consumer is always right. And um, I'm going to be taking a lot of time. Like this, I build in like five minutes. So I'm going to be taking a lot of time making sure it is because I think quality makes for like people to like it because like small details people respect so yeah and these um right is probably gonna be like around ten dollars give or take two these ledges i don't know just comment what you what you would pay for this because they're kind of hard to make for me anyway 
like the concrete. I know how to make con like mix concrete and put it in a mold, but it's just very time consuming. And I only have two molds for these. So uh yeah, it's gonna be these. And uh yeah, so comment the price, comment if you would buy them, if you like them. And uh decks, I have a uh, oh shit. Uh this is a uh, really like one of the first decks I made. It's kind of fun. but this is the shape of the decks that I sell. It's I traced a tech deck, so it's really this is a four corn um four corn broken knuckle compared to my shape. But the plies are kind of nice. You can see the plies, but the only thing about it is... Hold on. I don't know if you might be able to see this. Where is it? Oh, it's right here. It's cracked between the two plies. So yeah, they're gonna be a. Uh, this is the shape of the mold I use. I got the plies from Poor Corner Fingerboards a long time ago. I have a lot of plies. I don't know where they are right now, but I have a lot. So no, oh, they're right here. See, these are one of the decks, not shaped yet, and I have a ton of them here. They were a dollar for five little sheets, so I just spent 20 bucks, got, so I could make 20 fingerboards. So yeah, that's going to be it. Um, subscribe, because I'll be doing stuff for the people who subscribe to me. Um, when I start the fingerboard company, I'm going to be sponsoring people. I don't want to go on too long, and I want seven minutes, and I've just been talking. But um, subscribe, I'm going to be doing like uh, maybe trade for obstacles, custom ob obstacles, not ones that I'm going to sell. Like, I'll probably make some cool custom shit. Because I need some fingerboards. I want to upgrade, but I don't I don't want to spend cash on a Berlin wood. But I'll be willing to trade some nice obstacles for a Berlin wood or a new set of trucks. Because I would like some new trucks, maybe some wheels. Fuck it, I don't know, anything. Maybe even new obstacles. Like, uh... Like a s round rail. That would be pretty cool. Because I never had one of those before. And um. So yeah. Uh, that's all I can say. Subscribe. Like. Comment. Rate. Rate. I don't know how you guys say it on YouTube. In what order. But. Eight minutes now. I'm just going to end it early. Follow me on Instagram. Earl underscore sweater. Follow me on Twitter. Earl underscore sweater. Sweater. Uh, comment on. This. To. Keep you posted. Ask any questions. Uh, yeah, I'd love to hear what you guys would think of all this. Alright, I'm out.